the dismantling of his really talking points and and an absolute morons like Ben Shapiro, uh, mm. who's been in shambles He's because his Zionist idiot. dreams has been exposed as the fraudulent, uh, failed ideology that it is. Uh, we're gonna go through every single one of these points. And I I read I, before the stream to pre- prepare. I went through Ben Shapiro timeline of Jesus Christ. Oh man, you, I don't know you did that shit. I don't. Hey man, <laughs> more power to you, dog. Cause I wouldn't. I could. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I did for you guys, fam. I did so I can fully understand his position, so I can dismantle this fucking garbage, genocidal weasel. So this is one of the examples of the many. Hey, to- hey don't forget. Hey, don't forget his girl don't got the wop. Don't forget that part too. <laughs> so that is absolutely empty true. Too, so. And to your point about libertarians, I had a Lions Co- Cosgrove from the Gray Zone, who I didn't even know who was a libertarian until he came on the show. On the show, and he, oh, he said he was. He said he was independent. Yeah. We, and then we talked about open borders and our agreement on that issue. I was like, yeah, I didn't know he was a libertarian. So there's quite a few. I've seen a lot of uh, libertarians called Ben Shapiro um, as well for Ben-Tupiro. his uh, apologizing for his failed Zionist project. Every single one of these points is a lie. And I and once again, I scroll through his entire timeline. I torture myself for you guys so I can understand his argument. Ben Shapiro's entire argument is the IDF says, Nico. Israel well, said. The IDF said it. Well, if the IDF said it, man. <laughs> the when Pentagon did Israel says. Lie? <laughs> when is when did Israel his, ever lie, bro? That's his argument. <laughs> now, look at this one. Evidence of my dude. Every single one of these points, we're going to fucking dismantle. Live footage of Rocket failing. Now, I'm going to show you guys this here. Because I actually thought Rolling Stones were going to take a different direction with this article, right? I thought mm-hmm. it was going to cover for the Empire, but they did not, actually. <laughs> Nikki Ramirez did not. So I, I yeah. actually read this article like, man, I'm out. There's been a couple through. articles that kind of threw me off that I was like, oh, okay, y'all, 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 y'all peeping game. Now y'all like, shit, let me just go ahead with it. They rolling with the ties rolling, bro. They really, they looking at social media like, yo, man, this this ain't really looking good for, for the Zionist side, man. Yeah. Man, I know my boss, Mr. Rubenstein or Mr. Blumenthal or Mr. Gates or whatever, you know, one of them names. Like, my boss might be mad at me by the end of this, but, uh, you know, I got to get these clicks. Yeah. At a people certain point, some interest starts playing the part. People know that their docu- their position on this is going to be documented. They're going to be member forever. Exact, bro. That's mm-hmm. really what it is. That's really what it is. Real talk. The smart ones are realizing that at least. They're, they're like, they're man, shit, let me think about what happened. It's like, I remember during the war in Iraq, like you said this dumb shit, and now every time you try to do something in public, everybody brings this shit back up that you said. I remember, so I'm about to find myself over on that side. For sure, for real. Bro, y'all think I'm going to let anyone forget who spread the misinformation about beheaded babies that I call from bullshit from day one? Every single one of those people, like, I'm you not, not going to let you forget Bruh. about it. <laughs> I'm How a college the, dropout. The super specific number. I mean, that was like the biggest yeah. clue. And then it's like the re, because like to, for that to have happened, what you're telling me is that somehow the Israeli, like Israeli security forces allowed for Hamas to just go into random homes. First of all, you, sir, ma'am, uh, parents are shitty fucking parents. How the hell just somebody's walking into your crib and just take a baby and they didn't kill you, but they take your baby and like in Israel, which never happens because we know how heavily monitored the the um the blockade is from israel into gaza like it you, you it's not happening so basically you're saying that even though you've been able to stop them from basically penetrating the city this entire time all of a sudden you know the day that you want to justify started world war three basically because of what happened on october 7th oh yeah they kidnapped 40 babies from whom uh, <laughs> y'all unlock your door like i'm just trying to figure it out bro <laughs> So uh, as I, I as I was saying, this article was actually surprising because I expected it to be the exact opposite. I thought it was going to be lies for the empire, but they call out lies of the Zionists in Rolling Stone here. They shout out to Nika Ramirez. Old footage right. is going yeah, viral, bolstering online chaos in the aftermath of the attack. So wh- what does Ben Shapiro say here? The first line: live footage of rocket failing. So the same way that Ben Shapiro repeated misinformation on beheaded babies. He repeating IDF misinformation. The entire right wing media infrastructure and the entire two party duopoly media infrastructure is about repeating lies of the IDF. So this article actually surprised me, just like your video did in our intro. It brilliantly break down the Zionist talking points on this. 
but they point out too using their own talking points by the way like using the zionist talking points to argue with their own talking points is the easiest shit to do bro it really is absolutely they're like man what about the civilians oh y'all care about civilians all of a sudden well what about these civilians well not those civilians it's too easy yeah it's like so what is the difference well once again those are brown people and they're muslim so that's basically the difference go ahead man it's too easy uh look at this this article case in point one viral video purporting to depict the path depict the blast on Tuesday, which shows a rocket veering off its intended course and back into the area from which it's been fired, was quickly identified from being from 2022. So what Ben Shapiro and Zionists was doing, they were showing uh, video footage from tw- uh, video fo- footage from 2022, and they said, hey, look, this is evidence that Hamas are firing rockets. Yep. Exposed and what by they're the basically IDF trying to claim is that they launched the rocket from the hospital. That's a, that's basically what you're claiming if you show that video. Oh, he, he launched it from the hospital and it hit the hospital. Like, bro, what? Come on, dog. Tell yeah. what ain't like. <laughs> they are fucking Hamas rockets are repurp- repurposed Israeli weapons. Hamas does not have the power and capability to destroy and level a hospital and kill hundreds of people. If they had that kind of firepower, Israel would have been gone, fam. Probably. Facts. They facts. don't have the power. Hamas rockets has never leveled a building. You guys know that? Never leveled a building. But it took out a hospital and killed hundreds of people. That's why the motherfuckers had to parachute into a whole rave just to get some damage to that. Like real talk. Like if we being real, yeah. like if they you think that what do you think they would prefer? Putting themselves in danger or just launching a rocket into a rave? So like we're going through this list one by one. Utterly dismantling this bullshit here. Um, there was also the lie uh, of Hamas chatter that was uncovered. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the convenient audio because you know for the yeah. first time you know just right after the the you know the whole situation went down like they just magically got an expert cut in 4K of Hamas audio. It was super convenient. Like yeah, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's like really difficult actually to just get two people to speak arabic and say whatever the fuck the idf wants them to i'm like that would probably be really hard to do not easy to fabricate nick you might be being too hard on them yeah and from all (laughs) reports for people who speak uh arabic their accents in the video and the audio was so goofy and this is i can't confirm because i don't speak the language but i've seen many uh, accounts on twitter me journalists report on this as well it does not sound like a fucking. It sounds like a Hebrew. Talk. It sounds like someone who speaks Hebrew fluently yeah. trying to. It's like speaking Arabic. It's like if a Spanish person, uh, or like let's say a Brazilian person is trying to speak Spanish. Like yeah, the words technically are correct, but like that's not the accent they talk. That's not like the way they inflect certain words, like things like that. Like it sounds like my ex was Israeli, so like that's the only reason I know. And that's why I was like, this is this is bullshit audio. But you know, I'm not. Israeli, so I didn't say that, but I had immediately knew, and then I started looking up the, I started seeing the reports. People were like, "This is bullshit." <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, ain't crazy, yeah, you know." Several experts confirm Hamas' view that the audio tape of Hamas operatives talking about the missile malfunction is a fake. They say the tone, syntax, accent, and idiom are absurd. Is, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That, that I love what he says. It's absurd to believe anyone would speak this way. <laughs> so, Bro, yeah, it, like imagine it's hey, you remember uh, Malibu's Most Wanted? Yeah, when the, with when the two uh, with Tay Diggs and Oh Boy were trying to act like they were black, basically, and like they were saying technically slang words, and technically, I guess, like you could say like they were acting black, like, but re- in reality, like no one talks like that. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like that. It's like that. Like yeah, I guess technically all the stuff that you're saying is true, but like this is not not how anybody talks. And if you can only really know that if you actually speak the language. Absolutely. But they what they were hope, but it wasn't too con. It wasn't to convince Arabic people. It wasn't to convince you know Palestinians. It was to convince Americans and Europeans and those who don't you know those who aren't really fluent in the you know the power brokers and the, the ones who they're, they're trying to win the information war against, because they already lost it against the Arabic community. So they're trying to convince us. Absolutely. And this is something that you know if you've been following this this conflict for quite a bit. The, the Israel patterns of lies. Mm. And then uh, the United States always back up the lies, and this is the Israel playbook. 
you when you commit an atrocity, you lie about it. You blame your enemy, Hamas, and your Israeli IDF contacts in the media will repeat uncritically, oh, well, there's claims that Hamas says that Israel does it. Israel said Hamas did it. We don't know. That will, if they're not outright repeating the propaganda, that's what they're saying in every single headline. Yeah. Oh, well, yep. Hamas claims that Israel doing it. Israel did, says that Hamas is doing it. I don't know who did, but I wouldn't believe Hamas terrorists. That's what every single That's one what everybody saying. says. Like, Israel's not terror. It's like, why wouldn't you believe? I'm confused. Cause that's okay. So let me ask you this. Because this is this is why I be getting confused about, bro. And I said it in the video, open video, if y'all watch it. But like, Israel has spent the last four or five days going into explicit detail about why they believe killing civilians is justified. Yes. Like, they've been very clear about that. Not only have they gone the last four or five days explaining why killing civilians is justified, they've also been killing civilians right they've been bought literally they'll say hey go to you know um north gaza like go ahead toward in the one road that they take they bomb the road with a caravan full of civilians okay like they've been killing civilians non-stop for years by the hundreds or the thousands okay every year every single year we watched, we saw pe people, I remember what, a couple of years ago, people, well, man, shit, actually, I guess like six or seven years ago, people were protesting. Everybody thought they were getting hit with rubber bullets, but they killed protesters for throwing rocks. Yeah. Like this is, like they have told you that they're okay with killing civilians. They've made it explicitly clear. And then when they do it, they're, they're loyalists, they're apologists like, no, Israel will never do that. What? That's crazy. Where are you getting that from? I'm getting it from fucking Israel. Yeah. So you believe Israel when they blame Hamas. You believe Israel when they say they're the victim. You believe Israel when they gaslight you and gaslight you and gaslight you. But when they tell you, yeah, we'll kill civilians and we believe it's justified, you're like, no. You know why you got to say that, though? Because the whole reason that y'all, the, the, the outrage is birthed from this idea that the killing of civilians started with Hamas on October 7th. Right? Yes. So that's where all their outrage is sparked from. But if they admit, well, actually, Israel is killing a lot of civilians too, and they're justifying it. Now, where's your where's your self righteousness? Like, you don't you, yeah. you don't have a, a, a you don't have a leg to stand on anymore. Yeah, and the headline's been a joke. Like, I I don't have time to show you every single article, guys. But they will say stuff like this in the headline. It's so fucking passively misleading. They will say hundreds dead in airstrike in hospital. What does that tell you? Now imagine. If Hamas did this, what the headline would Bro, be? It but... would say, Hamas terrorists slaughters Israelis in, in despicable air, hospital airstrike. But every single headline is, hundreds dead in mysterious, it's like mysterious airstrike yeah. because of a con Like, why aren't you saying Israel bombed a hospital and killed hundreds of people? No, there's no Western article that just straight out say that. Well, it's New York Times did for all of like two seconds, then they changed the, the they did for like two seconds, bro. The New York Times actually got it right, and then they changed it. Now, I want to I interject it just for a second time. We got so much shit to get through, Nico. So I, I want to show you guys this um, on how Israel uses this failed rocket launch uh, accusation all the time. It's a, they yes. have a similar playbook. Every time they slaughter the civilians, they say, oh, well, it was a Hamas failed rocket. And because the general racist attitudes of America, people believe anything that is said about Muslims the same way they believe anything said about Asians and Chinese people. So they don't need evidence. If you just say Hamas got failed rockets and they bombed their own hospital, they won't critically think about it. Of course, mm -hmm. the Muslims do that. That's how they trick people. That watch. They're like, yeah, because the Israelis are smart and the the yeah. brown people are dumb. So of course they would yep. do that. Like that's really that's. I mean, it's kind of sad, but that's the reality of it. So I'm gonna read the headline subheadline. IDF and this is from 2022. IDF finds Israeli strike killed five children in Gaza during recent operation report. The military reportedly initially thought children were killed by a failed rocket launch. You guys see how they repeat Bruh. that talking point? They thought it was a failed Hamas rocket launch. And then later it comes out, oh, we actually did it. <laughs> it will MSNBC and corporate media repeat uh, the correction no, they don't. The same way they didn't report on the correction of them killing Shereen Abdul-Akla. Correct? Now, I'm going to show you this video because I didn't want propaganda report really hard to do this next week. But I'm going to show you guys Rachel Maddow and Nicole Waters and how they reported 
on the hospital bombing. Oh, the first man, thing I'm going to let I'm play. Nico, I know you're going to have a lot to say on this. I hope I'm ready for this. All right, let's go, man. <laughs> hey, look, I, I'm showing you guys this. This is going to be torture, but I'm showing you guys this because I want you to see guys, the framing they're using. It is such bullshit. And I need you guys to be understand how to see through this. You're sitting here. Nick just wants us to suffer with him. It's so fraught. It's so um, it's so heartbreaking. Um, you think about everything that you hear. I, I take Mary Eisen's point. Um, I think she's still with us. That um, these are the images that a terrorist nation wants out there. Um, I take John Hudson and and Rap point that um, I mean John terrorist John nation. Also Israel. And Nick, I'll pass to you as well. But as Israel bombs a hospital and kills 800 people, they call Hamas a terrorist instead of Israel, the people that literally bombed the hospital. Bruh. How absurd is this? No, nah, they said Israel. nation. Terrorist nation is what she said, bro. I don't know if you heard that part. Yeah, she said this is a terrorist nation. This is a this is what a terrorist nation said, wants you to see. She said we want to – the terrorist nation wants us to see the images – of Israel bombing kids, and, but like, of course yeah, we they want, want to show that you... because it shows that they're fighting the evil side, right? But go ahead, Nico. Exactly. No, no, nah, nah, just every no, nah, everything he says is one hundred percent true. That that's what's why it's like, yeah, they, they want you to see this. It's like, well, well, yeah, if you're bombing the shot of people and then lying about it, absolutely. I think that every everybody will want people to see exactly what's happening there. I don't, and also, I mean, shit. BB don't seem to have any problems with creating digital marketing for he he went, he went to the digital marketer's wedding. It's a whole thing. He said he's gonna be doing a lot of content for me. So clearly they don't have a problem when deep when BB put out propaganda and hires a whole goddamn department specifically for that. But whenever people with their cell phones are just uploading and trying to let people know like we're dead or we're not, like oh this, this it must be the terrorists on TikTok showing their family like it's that's just yeah. disgusting. And then calling the terrorist nation once again trying to lump. And conflate all Palestinians with Hamas, Absolutely. right? So that and that's purposeful, y'all. Like they're, it's the same reason that people didn't care about the hundreds of thousands of innocent Iraqis that got killed for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. Fam, the majority of Gaza are teenagers and children. Mm -hmm. But in this Over segment, yep. they're gonna repeatedly. Lay out the claim that Israel is targeting terrorists and Hamas are the terrorists. So let, let's let's listen to the language here that they use. I let it play for a bit, and then uh, we, I see Wyatt in the back. I'm gonna bring you in here very soon, Wyatt. Let's play this for a bit, and I intro, introduce our next guest. Mary Eisen's point. Um, I think she's still with us. That um, these are the images that a terrorist nation wants out there. Um, I take John Hudson and, and Raph's point that, um, I mean, to John Hudson's reporting that 6,000 bombs have been dropped on a teeny, teeny um, space, tons of civilians there in harm's way, <laughs> put in harm's way by Hamas. Put in um, harm's way. And I, and I wonder what Not your sort of thoughts are who about how the we bombs. sit through this. Well, I think if you look at what's happened at that hospital, there is nobody in, in there's nobody uh, among us. There's nobody in the civilized world. Yoda stuttering want, is hilarious. Um, to happen, what happened to that hospital? Um, to have people, to have a a place where it's an operating operating hospital. This is a place where there's there's patients there, there's wounded people. What? There, in addition to, people. is there another kind of hospital? Is there another kind of hospital than an operating hospital with patients? The stuttering to try to like, I don't want to seem like a, a a devilish demonic piece of shit. So I'm gonna like try to. Like there's no you you sound like a like a demonic evil piece of shit like, like you can you can stutter you can you can use a lot of pretty flamboyant words like it's an operating hospital Nick it's an operating hospital with patients yeah so I, I, there's so much I want to say but I'm gonna let it play just for a second time I'm gonna let yeah, it play go, 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 and then I'm gonna bring okay. White Reed I see you in the back and we're gonna introduce you you know better uh, than to put me on this damn like with 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 this you know you already know man come on man you know maybe listen to this damn torch. <laughs> Nah, but I'm glad we people need to see this shit. They need to see I'm a, I'm a, this fuckery. Yeah, I'm gonna get you in because I know this is gonna be hard to get through because this is absurd. Like this, they fit so much in in such a short amount of time. <laughs> it's impressive. You see how she was stuttering, like you said in the beginning. She is so careful with her words right now. All of their masters are watching. They picked these two people for a reason. It's prime time. It's, it's go time. We need our the master <laughs> propagandist here. And you better not yeah. fuck up. It's Michael Jordan, game seven, fourth quarter. We need you motherfuckers right now. So let me play and I'll bring our guests in here. At the, the shelter in there. Now, 
why did that happen at that hospital? We don't know. And I think it's, we can't underscore that. Yes, enough. we do. We a clear assertion from the Israeli side. We do not categorically target hospitals. And we have a counter explanation. They just did. The strike. Bro, bro five days ago, they put out a fucking warning to evacuate a hospital. Five days ago, they did. They literally they warned. They, I actually retweeted it. I retweeted five days ago. They put out a warning about another hospital. To, for them, they had two hours to evacuate. In 2014, the video I covered, they targeted another hospital. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, bro. I'm a little Israel doesn't talk to hospitals? Like, there's so much to debunk here. So much. Had, um, a misfired rocket, essentially, that was targeted at Israel and, and somehow hit that hospital instead. <laughs> On the other side, we've got Palestinian authorities saying, no, this was an Israeli airstrike. We cannot lose sight of the fact that in the Gaza Strip, the government is Hamas. There isn't a governing authority that we're able to appeal to here that may have a more neutral understanding of this than the entity that uh, launched those <laughs> terrorist attacks in Israel last weekend, and that is at war with Israel right now. Israel just bombed a hospital, and she still mm. can't stop calling Palestinians and Hamas the terrorists here as they are reporting on Israel bombing a hospital.